Welcome to another Scrapebox video tutorial. My name is Ryan Borden, aka Loopline, and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to compare two lists and remove one from another. So if we have two lists of data like this, for example, these are lists of URLs. We are going to use this grid right here and the import compare functions. These are, this is a line by line grid, so it would work to compare email addresses. If you had a list of email addresses, if you had a list of other things, it would work. Phone numbers, etc. if they're exactly formatted, you know, this is looking at character per character. So let's say I have this list here. I have list A, which has car.com, cars.com, and purplecars.com. I have list B, which also has cars.com and purplecars.com, but has two unique ones, greencars and redcars.com. So what happens is I scraped up a list of URLs, for example, and I'm left with list A. So I save off list A to my hard drive. And then I have list B, which is my new list of URLs that I scrape up. And I want to make sure that I'm not marketing or doing whatever I'm doing with these URLs to the same list twice. So I want to make sure that list B is unique that it doesn't contain anything from list A. So if I had scraped up these URLs using keywords or whatever, and I had a list of URLs here, I can go to import and select URL list to compare. And then I can simply select list A, which is the first list I had, and it's going to remove any URLs from this list that were found in list A. Again, if it were email addresses, it would remove any email addresses found in list A from the list that's loaded in here. That way I'm obviously not emailing them twice, that sort of thing. Also, I can remove on a domain level. So let's say I have a list of URLs that looks something like this, where I have some internal pages. And I don't want to just remove the specific URLs from list A. That's what the import and compare URL list does. It removes the specific exact line. This is going to be a domain-based removal. So if the domain itself, now this is going to work on actual domains. This will work on anything like email addresses, phone numbers, that sort of thing. This particular function is only going to work on URLs. But if I have any domains like this purplecars.com, is that domain, any URL from that domain is in list A? And I choose this and select list A, it will remove all of the entries that contain that domain from this current list is loaded in. So let's select list A and we can see it took away everything. And the reason for that is that in list A here, we had purple cars, purple-cars.com. And our original list here was, it had this here with the page at the end. Now this was just like five URLs that I was messing around with. You could load in millions. Now bear in mind, if you I'm working with 10 million URLs loaded in here and you're comparing it to a list of 100 million URLs. That's kind of pushing the limits. Um, and it's also going to take a minute. Um, it is a pretty fast function. I routinely compare lists that are a million URLs that I load in here and then compare them to maybe close to 100,000 entries. And it only takes a matter of seconds. But... You, this is a massive function. You could compare huge lists of data and compare all kinds of things, like I said, from phone numbers to emails to actual things. And you can compare exactly line by line, or you can compare based on the domain name itself. And that is how you can compare two lists and remove one from the other. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now, or go to scrapebox.com, and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.